All right, what's going on YouTube? 5.7L Hemi. All right, you guys. I just removed my intake manifold off of my 2006 Dodge Charger RT for some regular uh, cleaning and maintenance and everything. I'm actually changing two of my uh, MDS solenoids. It'll be this one right here and that one right there. Um, kind of having some uh, trouble out of mine. I don't know if they're stuck open or stuck closed, but basically my cylinder deactivation is not working at the moment. So that's pretty much why I took uh, the intake manifold off. And of course, there's a few necessary steps that you got to take when taking the intake manifold off. But while I got this off, I'm going to go ahead and clean my uh, intake ports again. Got a little bit of a uh, blow by on them, as you can see, a little bit of oil right there. It's not bad or nothing, but I'm going to go ahead and clean all of that up. Pretty much the way to remove the intake manifold on a Dodge Charger RT, pretty much from, this goes for the Chrysler 300 from 2005 all the way to 2019, because they're practically the same engine anyway. The only difference is mine has a uh, the, e the EGR valve and then take manifold. So it's nothing major. I keep my uh, heads pretty clean as is anyway, so won't be much to uh, get in there and clean these off. I'm probably gonna port them again, port and polish my heads. It's pretty much the only thing I've done to the head so far. Just a port and polish. And the reason that there's a little bit of oil blow by on them is because when I first bought this car, it didn't have an oil catch can on it, which I have one on it now to prevent, you know, further um, oiling and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up real good. All right, you guys stay tuned. I'll be back for another one.